So we're going to work on an example here of polynomial division. So I'm taking x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 8x squared minus x plus 10, and I'm dividing that by x minus 2. I'm going to do this with a generic rectangle. So starting off with my generic rectangle, I'm going to take the x minus 2, what I'm dividing by, and I'm going to put that on the side, x minus 2. Now, when I use a generic rectangle, the things on the outside multiply together to give me what is on the inside of the generic rectangle. I'm going to use that same idea here, but now I have what's on the inside, and I'm trying to figure out what goes on the outside. So I'm using the process backwards. So to start off, we always start with our first term in this box here. So I have x to the fourth. So I need to figure out x times what number gives me x to the fourth. Or I could think of it as x to the fourth divided by this x. Either way, I get the answer of x to the third. Since it's a generic rectangle, I now can figure out this box right here by multiplying x cubed times negative 2, which gives me a negative 2x cubed. As I continue my generic rectangle, and as you see, I'm drawing in lines as I go, I know that I have like terms on these diagonals here. Well, those two need to add up to be my next term here of x to the third. So since I have negative 2x cubed, and I want it to be 1x cubed, I need to make the top box 3x cubed. Now these two add to be 1x cubed. Once again, I need to figure out the top. x times what gives me 3x cubed? it's going to be a positive 3x squared. That allows me to figure out my next box, which is now going to be a negative 6x squared. And I continue the process. These next two here have to add up to be a negative 8x squared. So the top number then is going to have to be a negative 2x squared. So now they add up to that term. Again, continuing on, what goes up here times x is going to give me a negative 2x squared. It'll be a minus 2x. Multiplying now to figure out this box here is going to be a positive 4x. Continuing the process, these two boxes here now need to add up to a negative x. So now I have a negative 5x in that box. On top then is minus 5. And then I have a positive 10 down here. Since this positive 10 matches my last term here, I no longer need these boxes. And I also know that it divides evenly. There is no remainder. I'll go over another example that has a remainder, but this one has no remainder. So my answer to this problem here is going to be x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. I'm going to do the exact same problem also using long division on a different video. So if you're interested in long division, you can take a look at that. For this next example, I'm using basically the same problem. The only difference I made is I just changed this number here. And this is going to give me a remainder. So the process is going to remain the same. Start off with my generic rectangle. What I'm dividing by x minus 2 is going to go on the side here. And I always start with my first term in that box right there. 
So x to the fourth. And just like before, x times what gives me x to the fourth, or x to the fourth divided by x. The top of this box has to be x to the third. Multiplying to get this box here gives me negative 2x to the third. Continue on. I need to add up to that term there with these two. So again, I'm going to get 3 x to the third, which on top gives me a positive 3x squared. Multiplying to get the bottom box, I will have negative 6x squared. Continue the process. These two need to add up to that. So I now have negative 2x squared. On the top, then, has to be a negative 2x. Multiplying to get the bottom box here, I will have a negative or positive 4x. And 4x plus what will give me my negative x? That's going to be a negative 5x, which means the top is a minus 5. And then the bottom is going to be a positive 10. Now that all happened the same as the last problem. The only difference now is I'm ending with a positive 10, but I want a positive 8. So I just continue the process one more step. And 10 plus what is going to make positive 8? So this box here has to be a negative 2. That is my remainder. So my answer then is minus 2 over my divisor of x minus 2. You could also say this is a positive and that's a negative 2. So this is now the solution with the remainder. The only thing that changes is your last box does not match up, so you just continue for one more box.